Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today we'll be doing a review of the new Tanergy Accucel 6 charger, uh, which arrived today in this uh, packaging. And uh, here you go, the new Tanergy Accucel 6 charger. Um, I got this specific one from lightningrc.co.uk because uh, obviously I live in England if you couldn't tell from the accent and uh, I had to get um, a mains adapter uh, for this specific charger because uh, this one's mainly designed to be used with a mains um, 110 to 240 mains adapter with a 12 volt 5 amp output or with the included cables inside you can charge it from any sort of uh, 12 volt battery like car battery or any other sort of batteries you have that you can charge externally which I'll show you in a bit so what we'll do is we'll have a look inside the box and see what it comes with uh, the first thing we do we are notice when we open the box is a little inscription here from Lightning RC saying if you want to download the um, manual instructions to go to their website and download them uh, I actually looked on their site to find out why um, but because uh, these chargers get shipped all around the world there's um, hundreds of different types of uh, languages um, around there and to make a manual for every country is uh, quite expensive so to keep the price down and wait so us um, the ones actually buying them actually can save money on that which I thought was a very good idea but anyway let's take it out and have a look Okay, put that in there. All right, and there you go. The um, here's the charger. Uh, when I first took it out just then, I can tell from the feel of it, this is actually made out of all metal, um, and it's also got its own cooling fan to keep uh, the internal working parts, like circuit board and things like that, all nice and cool. Um, on this side, we have got the negative and positive output cables. Uh, sorry, adapters for the cables uh, for your uh, charging of your batteries. Uh, these little circuits here, these are for your balance charging um, of your lipos. And as you can see, each one is a different size. Uh, this is the, this is here for is uh, the different types of cells in your lipo batteries. Because each one has a different thing with the amount of cells it needs to charge. You have a different adapter. Now these are actually designed, uh, well, basically idiot designed um, so you can't accidentally put the wrong size adapter in the wrong balance charger hole which is like me and I've never done lipos before it's actually quite handy to know that um, so I can't accidentally damage my batteries put them in the wrong hole and on this side you've got your main power input which is a standard 5.5 millimeter jack and this little, um, little hole here with these three connectors are for a temperature sensor uh, which this one actually doesn't have, um, which comes in the box. It's uh, an extra which you can buy from Turnergy or any other really tailor that sells these types of chargers and equipment. And underneath we've got a hologram here to say that it's an authentic uh, Turnergy 6 uh, adapter, a charger, sorry. So there's a lot of counterfeits. So at least I know I've got the official one here. And uh, right, what we'll do now is we'll... Uh, Put some power on so you can actually see um, what it looks like. And uh, obviously you can see I've got my main power is already on. So what we'll do is just connect the uh, jack into the main hole. And there we go. And it comes up sturdy. As you can see it's got a nice bright LCD screen. So you can see it in the dark or when it's poor visibility. And it's very nice and easy to understand. This is the first thing that should pop up when you first turn on your uh, Accucel charger. It's quite a self-spanatory. You've got uh, your four main buttons here, so it's nice user friendly, not too many complicated buttons to use. But a good thing about this charger, um, it's a universal one which can charge multiple types of batteries. And as you can see here, it does LiPo, uh, LiPo Life, one to six cells, uh, nickel metal hydride or NiCad, one to 15 cell, and it also does lead, lead acid batteries, which is 2 to 20 volts, which is very, very good. And you've got two different types of uh, names of the buttons here. You've got the top, which is the menu buttons, which is type, status, and start. And you've got the charging options, uh, which is stop, plus or minus, and you've got your enter button. And just obviously uh, health and safety and certified that uh, it's been checked and it applies to the relevant 
um, government. But anyway, just the same thing I must point out on there. Um, you should never ever leave this charger um, on it on you know on on its own with a uh, connected LiPo battery. Because if you're like me who've never used LiPo batteries, or you may know, is you should never ever leave your LiPo batteries charging on their own because they are very dangerous. They can explode or catch on fire very easily if they get overcharged or damaged in any way while charging. Uh, just a health and safety fact, always please keep that in, in, though, in mind. But anyway, let's get back to this. Uh, we've got to use the set programs here. Right, now to change the different types of menu, you've got a type button here. So what we do is we'll keep pushing that and then you can see the type of things. So we've got LiPo battery selected there, push type again. We got uh, nickel metal hydride. We got NiCad. I'm not sure what PB is. Um, if someone wants to put that in the uh, down below in the user, you know, in the reviews and your comments, uh, let me know. I'm not actually sure. Um, we also got uh, save data and low data. Uh, what these are is if you have a specific type of battery and you want to do multiple chargings of multiple batteries of the same type, you can actually. Put in all your settings that you require, like uh, maximum temperature or maximum amperage, anything like that, and you can save it. And obviously, this one you can actually load that information back. So push it back in, and then you got back to use a set and program. That's all your main selections you can have. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the uh, programs. So if we push start, it then comes up with a new menu. Uh, tells you what it is that we're doing lipo and what type of lipo. Uh, I think this will be your cells. So if you push start again, it will flash. Now this means we can actually change the type of things here. As you can see on here, you've got lipo, lipo, you know. See? So we leave it as that anyway, because that's what we want. Now to change the menu inside this, if we push status, we can change for the type, time check. Um, I think, I presume this is it will check every 10 minutes, you know, to let you know. Um, then we've got your sensitivities. Uh, for all your different types of batteries, you've got your USB. It's actually off at the moment because we, as I said before, we haven't actually got uh, it connected at the moment. So we carry on going through. Not sure what that is. I'm sure if you look in instructions, it will tell you about the charge and discharge. And obviously, you've got a cipher time timer. So if you do, le you know, leave it after 120 minutes, it will automatically switch off. Uh, so we obviously adjust these. You push start, and then you can either switch it on and off. And then obviously push start again, you can then change, you know, like the, the amount of minutes you want it to be. Okay, switch, press start again, and it goes back to steady on, which means we can then change the uh, menu again. And then you've got your capacity. I've already preset this for 220 milliamps, which is the uh, LiPo batteries that I'll be charging um, in a bit, which I'll be doing another video of how to charge LiPos with this charger. Okay. So obviously, push start again. You can actually change these, like on or off, if you want it to have, you know, cut off for health and safety. Um, same as you can change um, every increments of 10 milliamps. You can uh, increase it or decrease it, and obviously push start again for it to be steady on, which means we can change the menu again. And then obviously you can change it if you want it to go beep when you touch it, you know, and buzzes for when it's finished. Um, and then you've got your input power. Uh, if it goes below 10 volts, like if you're using a, you know, a DC battery, it will automatically shut the charge off so it won't damage your light poles and give uh, wrong readings of the input they're putting in. Um, and obviously back to the main one again. So what we can do now, we can have a look, look at another menu. So we'll push uh, type, back to back to the beginning of where we were. Obviously program select, we want LiPo battery. Let's have a look at that. Now if we push start, it will get into a new menu. Now here, this is for your charging. This one here is your charging output uh, in amps. And this is the voltage you'll be charging at. And in this brackets, is it will be a four cell. Okay, already preset. And if we push uh, the status, again, we can change the type of things we want to do. Like that was on charge. Then we can have balance, uh, fast charge, storage, and discharge. Um, and this is on all of them, like nickel motor hydride and Nike and things like that. And that's it. I hope you enjoy the uh, video and a look at the Turnji AKL6. And then we'll see you again soon with, a, with the uh, charging status.